We always talk about temperature shock um, and that uh, you know people have been uh, taught forever to let your yeast warm up slowly so that you don't have to introduce it into a harsh environment and give it a really big uh, shock to the system, which is uh, totally not the case. We pull flasks right out of the fridge, throw them into the fermenters, and they take off like that. So uh, yeah, you really don't need to treat your yeast all that gently when it comes to uh, sort of normal everyday conditions. Uh, uh, yeast can handle a lot harsher conditions than humans can, so if you would be even moderately uncomfortable, your yeast is still totally fine. Um, yeah, they're hardy, hardy little suckers. Um, uh, but that said, it also does take a, a pretty deft hand to get them at their best in terms of maximizing viability, maximizing yield, and trying to do it all um, in a relatively compressed time frame. You want to pitch cold because if your yeast, uh, when your yeast is cold, it's in hibernation. Uh, yeast at refrigeration temperature, its metabolism is essentially shut down. It's not all the way, um, you know, to get it all the way shut down, you have to be at negative 80 C, which is where our cryogenic freezer is. That shuts them all the way down. In the fridge, they're in a state of really reduced uh, metabolism. Call it hibernation. Think of a, you know, a bear sleeping through winter. So the yeast is alive, but it is just crawling along not doing anything, it's in, it's in conservation mode. As soon as the yeast warms up, it says, oh, spring is here. I'm ready to wake up and I'm ready to get back to work. I'm gonna start looking for food. So as soon as your yeast is warm, it wants to eat. If all it's got to eat is its brothers and sisters and its friends in its package, uh, they're gonna start going after each other and uh, that's not what you wanna have happen. So that's why liquid yeast has to be uh, harvested cold, stored cold, shipped cold, kept cold up all the way until the minute you've got new food for it, i.e. your wort. As soon as your wort's ready to rock, you can throw your cold yeast in there. Um, going from 32 degrees at the coldest in your fridge to uh, let's call it a really warm Belgian, 80 degrees or 85 degrees, uh, that's a 50 degree temperature swing. Uh, we pull our yeast out of the negative 80 C freezer uh, and start it growing on plates the same day, uh, negative 80 C. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but it's colder <laughs> by a lot. So a 50 degree temperature swing for your yeast, right when it's going into some awesome food that it's psyched to start chowing on, nothing. Ain't no thing. As long as you've got uh, good happy wort with uh, uh, you know uh, good nutrients that are in almost every beer wort, um, nicely oxygenated or aerated, uh, that yeast is psyched and it, it won't even it won't even notice the temperature change.